Assalamu alaikum viewers Today we are in Baltimore and right now we are in Inner Harbor Inner Harbor is located near downtown Baltimore and it sits at the edge of Patapsco River The port of Baltimore is also situated in this area and there are many private boats that are docked in this port Along with the boats if you look around there are many beautiful architectures but uh, this area also has a national aquarium along with a rich history of maritime ships the harbor is also home to a unique lighthouse the seven foot knoll lighthouse which is one of its last kind in maryland this is a screw pile type lighthouse and it was in use for 130 years before being decommissioned. You can see a ship ahead of you and the Columbus Center on the right. Over here, there are many expos that occur. Columbus Center is known for its exhibitions. And on the left, you have the National Aquarium. So we decided to cross the bridge and head towards the National Aquarium. Looking back at the ship number 37, it's actually a US Coast Guard ship, US Coast Guard cutter Danny, and it was one of the surviving ships from Pearl Harbor attack and was also used in World War II and Vietnam Wars. So it has a rich history. It was open to the public before COVID but now it's closed. As we got closer to the National Aquarium, no, we could could. see it was closed. It was Sunday, so they were closed. You can walk around the piers and enjoy the view of the surrounding architectures. The buildings are really unique. Like right now, we are looking at a power plant, which has been transformed into a hard rock cafe. And along with that, people are enjoying the restaurants by the pier. So it's quite unique what they did. We also came across the experimental wetlands that they were trying to understand how the wetlands actually clean water or help the environment. Looks cool. Walked through the piers, we came across Pier 3 and a bright red ship, which is called the US Coast Guard Lightship Chesapeake. This ship was built in 1930s and decommissioned in 1979. So, this ship was open to visitors before COVID, but due to COVID, right now access is limited, and since it's Sunday, it was closed to visitors. What is that inside? And on the same pier, if you walk, if you walk a little ahead, you will see the submarine uses the submarine. Torsk. This is from the World War II era. It is one of the surviving sh ships from Pearl Harbor attack, and also it was used to attack Japanese ships during World War II off the Japanese coast. You hear the noise? 
of it moving. All the ships are open to visitors, but due to COVID, restrictions supply. And since we did not have much time, we missed out on roaming around more along the piers and enjoying more of the view. But hopefully another day, Move. we'll come back. So if you like Maritime Museum, we would recommend you to come to Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland and That's enjoy the view. The ship. And please let us know how you liked it. Thanks for watching.